Ladies and gentlemen, we finally got the breakout that we have been waiting for. As you guys know, we have been talking and talking and talking about this bull flag right here on the Bitcoin charts for the last few weeks now. Then last week, we finally got that initial breakout here that move up beyond this descending resistance line. Then we got a retest here, as you guys can see. And Saturday, Sunday, and today, we got the official move to the upside. So today, we will be taking a look at the charts and see what we could potentially be expecting for the rest of this week here now that we are moving back up and potentially continuing up from this pattern, right? So let's go ahead and see what we can expect this week. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials, and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful investors. The goal of this channel is to empower the community with the knowledge and resources to take your wealth up to that next level. So if you guys enjoy this channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the like button. So let's go ahead and dive into today's analysis. All right, so as you guys can see here, this is this right here is the bull flag that we've been talking about and then finally we got the break to the upside we had a retest which meant that it retested this part right here and boom right so i'm looking at this pattern and seeing the breakout right the next question is okay so what is the price target for this breakout and i believe we spoke about this on monday's video if we did not, then it was probably on one of the YouTube shorts that we did. But basically, the way that bull flags work is like this, right? You measure the beginning of the move to the top of the move, to the end, right? So this is called an impulse move. Then what happens here, this is what's considered consolidation. This is very, very common in when there's moves to the upside and the downside. Basically, the move gets exhausted, then it has to consolidate for a while, and then it basically continues up, right? So then the next question is, okay, so if it continues up, then where is the next move going? How can we figure out the price target? So the way that the bull flag theory works is that you measure the bottom and top of the impulse moves, and then you get that measurement and you put it, you put the measurement where the breakout happens on the flag. So for this instance, the breakout is happening right here, right? So that's where we put the measurement that we took of the impulse move that gives us the potential target for this next impulse move to the upside. So the target that this is giving us right now is 88 thousand dollars for this next move up now this is very in line with what a lot of analysts are saying about the moves coming up plan b is predicting ninety eight thousand dollars in by the end of november and a few others have also predicted anywhere between 80 to ninety thousand dollars so this kind of puts us right in the middle of all of those predictions they're using you know their own methods the method that we're currently looking at here is just the simple bull flag pattern and bull flag breakout method, right? Analysis. So now, when is it gonna happen? How long is it going to take? You know, questions like that, it's very difficult to say because a lot of times it just happens when it wants to happen, right? But the potential is there, guys. We're currently $1,000 away from the previous all-time high. A break of this all-time high will lead to, of course, increased volatility, increased volume, and probably a sharp move to the upside. Remember that last time we broke the previous all-time high, we ran up about $2,000 over the previous all-time high. I can expect something similar here. Once we break above this previous all-time high, which could be today, could be tomorrow, could be you know sometime towards the end of the week, we don't know. But what we do know is once we do break above it, we should start to run up possibly up to $70,000, maybe even further. 
if we pull up the Fibonacci extensions here and uh, to see what targets it gives us, you can see that it gives us this target here is going to be the, basically the next target after we break above the all time high. And that's right at around $74,000. So, I mean, are we going to go from 67 to 74? I don't think we're going to have a straight shot there, but there is a potential that we can shoot up to maybe once we break above 67, we could shoot up to 70, right? And then, then in, you know, it'll consolidate for a little bit and then continue up. And then maybe we can hit this target, you know, in the next week or so. So it's hard to put a time on it. You know, we don't know a time, how long it will take to get there, but the potential is there once it breaks above those levels. Now, remember that November is historically the most bullish months for Bitcoin. So a lot of people are predicting that 80 to $90,000 target just for November, which is crazy because there's about this, there's, we've already gone, we've gotten through the first week of November. You can see that so far we're up about 7%, seven and a half percent on the month. Remember that we spoke about potentially having a 42% month. And that's actually exactly what this target here is. That's 42%. So if we get that 42% month, that would put us anywhere around $88,000. Remember last month we had around a 40% month. So it's doable guys. It's just, it's big numbers. So for some people, it seems impossible. But remember guys, Bitcoin always makes the impossible possible. So some support and resistances here as we continue to move around this area here. Obviously the first resistance that we're facing is the previous all time high at 67. Beyond that, the next notable resistance is of course gonna be 70,000. It's a big whole number. So a psychological resistance should lie there for sure. If we get any downside this week, then the first support here is of course $65,000. That was a previous all time high. So that's always going to be a support and resistance. Now beyond that, then the next support will be $62,000, which is basically this range right here where we were consolidating within for the last couple of weeks. And then beyond that is $60,000. Hopefully we don't have to worry about any of those supports and we just shoot up this week. So now that we've pretty much gave you guys some ideas, some, you know, possible movements for this week, let's go ahead and cover some trade setups that we will be watching ourselves and we will be watching for our members this week. But before we do that, make sure that if you've gone this far in the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, turn on those notifications and smash the like button on this video. It helps us out a ton. We put in a lot of work, a lot of time and money into this. It only takes you guys one second to click the like and it's free. So let's go ahead and dive into those trade setups. So the first trade setup that we're watching here is going to be on the break above the previous all time high. So you could either now you, you can play it two ways. You can either just use the 67,000 itself. The thing with 67,000, there could be fake outs at 67,000 because the actual all time high is 67,167. So there is potential that we see, you know, that we touch 67 and then we get rejected back down. So if you want to try to avoid that, you can set up your entries above the 67, 167. So you can set it up like at 67, 200. Either entry I don't think is bad you, as long as you use stops and you manage your risk appropriately. If we get any pullbacks here, the first level I have, of course, am watching for a bounce back entry is $65,000. The second level that I'll be watching for is uh, $62,000. And then the last level is $60,000. These would all be for bounce back entries. Remember on bounce back entries, we're not buying on the way down. We're buying when it bounces back up above that level. So we, so we in essence, enter back in the on the trade like it's a breakout above the number that is it for us today guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you guys have any questions about anything that we covered today don't forget to drop it in the comments we'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you hope you guys have enjoyed this video i will see you guys on the next one as always peace and love